Welcome back to another really exciting video. So today I'm going to give you a free Premiere Pro title template. It's a Storm typography, so you can create a Storm intro for your YouTube channel. So stay tuned for how to use these templates. Once you download the title templates, you will get a folder like this. And if you open, you can see 21 title templates. Now I will show you my workflow, how I will install, uh, how I install all my Premiere Pro templates. So I just copy all the templates into this document and I create a new folder, Premiere Titles. And here you can create another folder like Stomp. And if you have more templates, you can create folder based on that. If you have a wedding, you can create a wedding template, wedding folder. And just copy everything into here, this Stomp folder, because it's a one place you can access every template. That's why it's not necessary, but you can create your own uh, location that's not a matter but this is my workflow anyway open premiere pro and open essential graphics i will show you how to install these titles into premiere pro now we just saved in that document folder only not installed into premiere so anyway open this essential graphics window and uh, just increase this size here you can change, you can access all your libraries. Anyway, nothing here. Now to install, go to these three lines icon and manage additional folders. Here you have to add our folder. So click on add and go to documents, premium pro titles. Here go to open, stomp and select this folder. That's all, you're done. So you can add, if you have more titles, templates, you can add all this folder. Now. Uh, if you go to this local and change into storm this is our folder name you can access all 21 titles here it's absolutely free and now you can create a beautiful storm in row or whatever you want you don't have to use this title only for intro you can use as new premium pro projects your video reads anywhere Anyway, I'll show you how to use these titles, uh, the controls and everything. So now I'm just drag and drop one of the title into your timeline. And here you can use, anyway, I'm going to use this keep existing setting. And yeah, that's all. And because right now this uh, title is 4K resolution. That's why right click and you can scale to frame size. Now it will fit into your combo sorry the sequence see these are the title animation here you can change your text and font font size font style everything and yeah if you play this oh, yeah and the second option you can control uh, see you can control the size everything from here and also you can control the speed see right now this animation will happen at the 15th frame that means half second so here if you type the speed into two this animation will finish at two second only see it's very slow right now so you can customize based on your music so right now i just back to uh, half second uh, if you want half second type 0.5 and yeah anyway back to half second and here you can adjust the tracking also you can adjust the scale opacity everything you can adjust now i will show you one another text uh, properties and just drag and drop into the timeline and delete the older one if you don't need we don't want that right now i think this is also 4k resolution you just right click and scale to frame size you will get the exact size it will fit into your sequence and yeah here you can uh, on this title you can change uh, you can see more text options here text one fill and stroke so if you are changing one option the text automatically will change in stroke also see say for example i just changed it today the first uh, lines so if you are changing uh, it will automatically change in stroke but if you are changing the font style 
uh, font or font size anything you have to change on fill uh, so the text stroke also that's all because actually the text stroke is hidden but you have to change it here from here anyway that's very simple uh, now I will show you uh, one more I just drag and drop this and I think this is not that good and means good means it's not match with this text I think oh, we can use this one we can we'll get the same yeah that's all and from here you can change the text font everything now i just drag and drop another title see here if you are changing the properties of this title so every title's properties are different so you have to understand based on just play around with all this title then you will get the proper things so in this one you have to adjust the position see here the text uh, if you are changing this title length you have to adjust the position so that you can do it from here the position yeah that's all so just play around with all this title and get to know all these properties it's very interesting so next video i will create a tutorial based on how to create a storm in row based on this title preset pack so stay tuned for that.